and welcome to Postradamus. This will be the first in a series of videos that will walk you through some of the basics and uh, hopefully give you a good grasp of how you can use Postradamus for your own Facebook pages. So in this video, I just want to go over the sort of the philosophy behind uh, Postradamus and uh, the the basics, I guess, of, of how to use it. So Postradamus has evolved over time since its uh, launch, but the philosophy has always been sort of the same thing. Uh, we we want to be able to find content we then want to be able to manipulate that content. So for example, changing the post text, uh, maybe adding an image or removing an image from the post, uh, that sort of thing, and then sending it to Facebook, to our Facebook page. So it's always been a one, two, three process and uh, that will more than likely never change for Postradamus. It, it keeps it simple, uh, but still gives you a lot of flexibility for uh, finding content, modifying it, and then sending it to your Facebook page. So uh, step one, of course, is finding content. So in Postradamus, you have find on web, which uh, if you click that is going to open up various options. Uh, we have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, Amazon, Imager, and web pages, and you can even search RSS feeds. So uh, lots and lots of options here. We also have the ability to upload photos from our computer. So uh, I'll go ahead and click on that real quick and show you what that looks like. So I could drag photos into this box here, or uh, I could just click that box and then it's gonna open up my hard drive and I can just choose which photos I want. And you can, of course, uh, choose more than one photo at a time, so that's pretty handy. And then we have this final uh, find an existing list option over here where uh, I haven't explained what lists are yet, but uh, basically it's going to be a way to find images or uh, other types of content that you've already uh, saved inside of Postradamus, you could find that content again and then send it to either the same Facebook page or a different one. We then have lists and a list is uh, just a way to contain all the content that you find from these various sources. So for example, if I were to find some content uh, via Pinterest, you know, maybe I'm searching for dog photos and I find a bunch of dog photos from Pinterest. I would need to uh, save those somewhere. So that's what a list is for, is to save any content you find uh, into a list. And then the nice thing about lists is you can go into that list and make any necessary changes to the content that you find before you send it to Facebook. So it's kind of a, a, a middle kind of like a holding ground before it's after finding content but before sending it to your page and then finally we have the uh, export which is number three where you can um, send your list all the, the posts that are in your list to Facebook or you can export it as a CSV file um, so that is the gist of Postradamus. Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna go over how to find content and what that looks like. So stay tuned.